Hello, hackers. Welcome to Pong College. I'm Jan, and today we're going to talk about CSE 365, Introduction to Cybersecurity. What is CSE 365? CSE 365 is tough. You signed up for it, possibly knowing that it is tough, possibly hearing about its reputation. It is a hard course. Our prior students report that CSE 365 is one of the hardest courses at ASU, probably second only to CSE 466 in terms of undergrad computer science. This class is extremely difficult. Many people also feel and report to us that this class is also the most useful class that they took up to now in their computer science education. It's very possible that this class will force you to do more computer science than you have done in total at ASU this far. In that way, it is transformative for a lot of people. You have done some computer science until now, if you follow the typical path, and now things get ramped up to 11. You've heard of the trifactor. There is no more trifactor. There is the one factor, and the one factor is CSE 365. I suspect that this class is as hard as those three combined. Be ready for that. If you're taking CSE 365 and 20 other units, credit hours, this semester, please change your schedule. This is a hard class. It is a class that you will look back on later in life and you will think that class was awesome. But during this semester, that will possibly not be your experience. This class is type two fun, the type of fun that you don't feel is fun while you're having it. You feel it's fun looking back. Keep that in mind as the semester progresses as well. Helps keep your perspective on the goal. All right, this class will take you a lot of time. According to the Arizona Board of Regents, we get at least nine hours a week of your time. Unfortunately, most courses at ASU don't follow this uh, standard and uh, take much less than nine weeks uh, on average. This class takes all, uh, much less than nine hours a week. This class takes all nine hours every week easily. The median student in CSE 365, and we have a lot of data on this, takes about 10 hours a week on a typical module in this course. Plan, uh, consider that the median student means half of the students take more than 10, take, half take less. It's not possible to know ahead of time which half you fit into. So please plan your schedule accordingly. This time is necessary. You need to immerse yourself in computer science and cybersecurity to learn this stuff in a similar way to needing to immerse yourself in a foreign language to learn it. That's what this class will help you do. You will learn in all this time an enormous amount of concepts not all of which we will explicitly teach you. This class requires you to learn often on your own from documentation that we will link from playing around with uh, uh, programs, from Googling around on your own. And this is intended. Cybersecurity is the ability to approach a complex system and say, ah, there's a bug there. I can write this exploit here. And this is how the security will fail. It is unlikely that the systems that you'll approach in the real world are going to be made up fully of components that you already know. This class will allow you to practice the skill of 
hitting a system, looking at a system that you don't fully understand and gradually understanding it. This is not an easy thing to do. Again, this is type two fun. It's very frustrating to not understand something, but it's very fulfilling to look back after you have developed that understanding and think, aha, I was able to do it. By the end of this class, you will know cybersecurity. And unlike Neo, who got hacking downloaded into his brain, you will develop this knowledge yourself. But like Neo, Neo, you will be able to demonstrate it. The dojo in phone college exists so that you can demonstrate to us your ability to hack the systems we create, to apply the concepts we teach and the concepts you learn and the technologies you learn. Combine all of that into the creation of exploits to ace this class. Where you go from here is a choice I leave to you.